Good morning, students. How are you today? I hope you all fine. And for today, uh, the practical for chemistry, I want to continue after you have learned about acidimetry last time. Then today, I want to introduce you to a um, method in um, uh, titration that we uh, use redox reaction as the base of the uh, titration or the reaction. The name of the method of the titration is Pemanganometry because we use the standard solution or the solution that we know the concentration is Pemanganate. This is potassium permanganate 7 or KMNO4. That's a strong oxidizing agent. And then the reaction, we use other um, as a reducing agent, such as once again, we use oxalic acid H2C2O4. We know the concentration is here 0 0.05 molar. This time, the unknown, the unknown here, we switch here, the unknown is the KMNO4, the noun concentration is the oxalic acid, this doesn't matter. And there is a redox reaction between KMNO4 and oxalic acid to produce CO2. I will give you the equation later on. Now the method, uh, the step, the same as acidimetry we uh, pipette measure the volume of the acid using bulk pipette and pipette filler put in the conical and then we don't need the indicator because KMNO4 is purple in color for the KMNO4 we put in the burette here we need help of Becker, put in Becker here, and then we put in burette. So we have oxalic acid in the conical flask, and then we need a sulfuric acid as the condition for the reaction. Why we need acid condition or acidic condition? Because KMnO4 in basic condition will form MnO4 so MnO4 will turn into MnO2 that is um, brown solid so we cannot see clearly the changes of the color from purple solution into solid um, brown that's why we need um, acid because KMnO4 in acid will produce Mn2 plus with uh, colorless or pink in the color um, here we i already filled the burette up with the kmno4 solution until zero line and then i have oxalic acid solution in here i want to add sulfuric acid as um, to give the uh, acidic condition here i need around two and half cm cube this is a bit yeah here to and half okay then put in here in the oxalic acid once again we don't need uh, indicator because there is change of color of the purple KMNO4 then we still need preliminary step that we need to heat up the solution to speed up the reaction because in the cold solution or room temperature the reaction will take too long time then we put the conical on the ghost here, we, we need the tripod put in here, and then we need the uh, um, spiritus lamp. Yeah, and then we lift up here like this. 
wait several minutes until before it boils. Yeah, here we hit the oxalic acid solution. Here you can see that the solution, the water, have evaporated here. Then we take this. See here the paper open. Yeah. The color here disappear because the number of KMNO4 still needed in here. So we add again. Yeah. until we get little excess of KMNO4 already here pink like pink so we have a little excess of KMNO4 in the um, acidic so there is no more acidic here uh, I mean uh, oxalic acid here there is no more then there is an, a little excess of KMNO4 and then uh, we take once here but we need a more accurate volume then we repeat this twice or uh, three times until we get uh, several volume then we take the average of the volume I will show you the calculation how to find out the concentration of the KMNO4 by using um, stoichiometry that's all for uh, today thank you for watching